Hello, my name is Sean Byrne. I'm running for the Anti-Austerity Alliance on the Galway City Centre Board. I've been a campaigner against austerity for the last three years, starting with the household tax. I've been a campaigner against uh, racism uh, and for women's choice. Uh, I'm running this in, uh, in this election primarily to popularise the idea of active civil disobedience against austerity uh, cuts and taxes. Uh, the water tax is on the way. Uh, water taxes have been defeated already in this country through a campaign of mass civil disobedience uh, in the 1990s. Uh, people were brought to court, people's water were turned off. Still, it was defeated. In 1997, it was abolished. And we will fight until uh, water charges are abolished, along with the property tax and all socially unjust home taxes. Um, people have shown, certain groups in society, that if you fight back, you can win. The turf cutters have shown that, they've, that, that when they fought, fought back, they won. Uh, the disabled doll campers who camped outside of uh, Leinster House, they got their home helps uh, secured. Uh, the ESP workers, uh, they fought back and they got their pension contributions secured. So you can see that people, when they do fight back, they have a chance uh, of winning. Uh, before the draconian property tax legislation, a financial fascist piece of legislation, 52% of single homeowners had refused to pay the household tax. Only one multiple property owner was brought to court. Uh, Irish Water now, being a semi-private entity, does not have the power to deduct its source uh, from wages, pensions, social welfare or bank accounts. Uh, they do have the, the power to bring it to court, but if the household tax legislation is anything to go by, they're not going to do that. It's too costly for them. So this is your chance uh, to fight back uh, to strike a blow against the policies of Fianna Fáil, Fine Gael and Labour who are pretty much the same. Uh, Labour in particular have promised that they would uh, prevent the worst effects of austerity uh, being visited on the most vulnerable in society. They failed on that. They promised they'd uh, reduce, they wouldn't increase uh, college tuition. They reneged on that. Uh, they've. They said, they're saying now that they have set, created 70,000 new jobs over the last three years. Well, if uh, the report by Colin McCarthy is anything to go by, 37,000 jobs created in the agricultural sector over the three years is a, is a result of a change in a methodology of counting the figures. And farm output, farm output has changed little over that period. So this is just spin on the part of the government. There might be a recovery for the rich, but there definitely is not a recovery for the rest of us. So fight back. Thank you.